Zach George, you have given me nothing but excuses. Your excuse number one is that you don't want to platform me. And that's so lame. I have the same amount of followers as you, get three times the views, and you just have been doing it a lot longer. Your second excuse, you try to deflect the situation by accusing me of having legal troubles due to how I handle my animals. That's interesting to say the least. I have no criminal records, I have never been arrested, I have never been charged, and I have been inspected by every agency in this country. There was never and will never be a reason for me to be charged for anything because I take amazing care of my animals. One thing that you have not done is accept my offer of $50,000 for you to show me, my audience, and your audience that your methods are in fact better, more gentle, and more effective than the ones that I use to rehabilitate these dogs that I work with. That you have not done yet. You are quick to come to my page and say that my methods are just wrong, but are you too shy to accept this offer? Or is it because I said you don't get to pick which dog you work with for this series? Since we know you are very selective about the dogs that you choose to work with, that you have a better chance to succeed with your methods. And even then, your results are mediocre. You do mediocre work. As I said before, this is a win-win situation for all involved. You'd get more views, you'd get $50,000, and the best part is you'd be able to give me a good reason to stop doing what I'm doing and start implementing your methods. I can't stop doing what I'm doing when I know it's saving lives just because you say it's wrong. We all need to see some evidence of what you're saying first. For those of you who are confused as to what I'm talking about, let me give you some context. Zach George is the most followed dog trainer on YouTube. That's not because he's the most effective dog trainer, but because he is good at marketing. Also because he's been posting consistently for many, many years. Now, the other day, Zach decided to come to my Instagram page and comment on a video that what I'm doing is wrong. That the approach that I use to train the dogs that you guys see in my videos is the wrong approach. Now, obviously, I'm on social media. I get a lot of opinions. That doesn't bother me. But let me tell you why this time this didn't sit right with me. The first reason is because, Zach, your reality is different than my reality. The people watching your videos, they don't look at you as their last hope. They don't look at you as their last resort. They don't look at you as someone who they should reach out to when their dogs have gotten so out of control, so aggressive, that something needs to be done now or the dog is going to be, at the bare minimum, given to the shelters. Most often, euthanized. They don't think of you when they are dealing with those situations. Do you know who they think about? They do not look up to you as someone who can help them save their dog's lives. So your reality is different than my reality. I am sure you don't receive the thousands, literally thousands of just heartening messages every single day from people all over the world desperate for help after they tried for years using methods that you promote and methods similar to the ones that you promote that are just not effective to help them. They message me when the dogs have caused severe damage, when they're dealing with so many horrible situations from dogs that are trying to kill each other in the house, from families who are being destroyed because of the dogs in their home. That's how out of control these dogs are. Dogs that are getting out of the yard and attacking the neighbor's dogs. And the owners have no choice but either get it solved now, not in two years, three years, not to be playing these games of let's see if this works or it doesn't work. My reality is that these people are desperate and the dog's lives depend on me helping them now. 
they need help right now for many different reasons from dogs that again are not getting along at home people that have kids and the dogs just decided they decided that they do not like the kids and among many other similar situations where they do not have a long time either the dog gets under control now or they have to go and no one else wants to take on these dogs that haven't gotten away with bad behaviors for so long because these people have been trying methods like the ones that you promote with no success so i am their last hope i people that drive to me many hours to finally get a chance to work with me it's because they are desperate and they need help now and i'll say it again the majority of people who come to me they didn't see me as their very first option of approach they tried your methods for years they tried positive reinforcement only they tried using a hunters you can see many of my videos the majority of the dogs have been trained using the wrong methods the wrong techniques that will actually help get a dog under control we're not teaching obedience here we're getting these dogs to comply so that they can fit into society so that they can tolerate kids so they can tolerate other dogs so they can tolerate the neighbors so they can tolerate your family members when they come to visit that's the type of training that i'm doing so your methods do not work to get all of these dogs of different breeds different temperaments different backgrounds to all learn to comply if the dog doesn't comply you cannot do the obedience that you do to begin with so think about that the amount of messages that i get every day of people saying if you don't come here and can help my dog right now like today and start to make a difference my family is going to euthanize the dog my wife is getting rid of the dog my husband is getting rid of the dog we need to get rid of the dog because we have family members we have other dogs their lives are at risk unless this gets under control now the city is threatening to euthanize my dog because my dog is so out of control it keeps jumping the fence and going after my neighbor's dogs it keeps attacking everybody they don't know what to do and as i cannot say this enough and i said it before they need help and assistance now and the dogs that you see in my videos are so desperate and so out of control and so stressed out that of course they're not going to have a pleasant first training experience if I'm trying to actually get to the root of the problem and actually make a difference and actually have an impact in this dog's lives and the owner's lives. That is just not possible to combine those two things. You cannot get these amazing results and make it not stressful when you're dealing with a dog that has gotten away with all these bad behaviors for years because people followed the wrong instructions, the wrong uh, methods on how to actually have obedient dogs ironically the very same video that you decided to comment on on my instagram has a story behind it that same family who brought that dog to my class had already euthanized another dog that they had for the same type of behavior that their dog was showing in that video I don't live in Texas. I cannot be helping these people every single day. Like I said, because so many people are following the wrong ways of training their dogs. There's more dogs with problems every day. I needed to give those people results right now. They didn't want this dog that you saw in that video to have the same fate as their other dog that had already been euthanized for aggressive behaviors that they could not control. Contrary to what you may believe, it doesn't make me happy to see the dogs so stressed out, so agitated when I first trained them. It's disheartening to see that these dogs have gotten away with bad behavior for so long that they are so stressed out when you're trying to actually help them. When they have gotten away from scaring everybody away from them, when trainers like yourself 
do not offer to help those dogs because you don't know how to. You do not get hands-on to help those dogs. They get away with just bad behaviors for so long that when they come to me, they're so sad to see, so stressed out, so confused for lack of guidance, for lack of structure, for lack of leadership. They do not have someone telling them what to do and they're freaking confused. So it does not make me proud to have to get these dogs under control. I do it because I know that's what's necessary to help these dogs that I work with. And it works. And I have amazing feedback from the owners that I help. And I cannot save every single dog. But I have worked with thousands of dogs. And the feedback is amazing. And even though the dogs, I can't say that every single dog is going to be 100% better the second time I work with them. Every single dog has improved even from one training session. Because when I go to work with them the second time, they're never as bad as they were the first time. And most of the dogs I work with make a full turnaround. Because I also teach the owners how to continue to reinforce and follow the training that I have given them and their dogs all at once. With the number of owners who come to me as their last hope to save their dogs and the amount of amazing feedback that I've received from my clients, it just goes to show us that if more dog owners learn how to implement my methods to train their dogs, many more dogs will be saved and many many more lives will be improved if my training method wasn't effective in the long run just as it is effective to just get the dog under control now then i wouldn't even be making this video and after all these testimonials that i receive and proof that dogs lives have been saved by the thousands I feel confident in my ability to help people and that my methods will help them and their dogs but here you are commenting on my page trying to mislead people asking them to believe your bad science and empty words over living proof real life evidence that I show every day make it make sense when you tell people not to trust what i show them but instead trust what you tell them you are putting dogs lives and people at risk because the longer they wait to get the help that they need for those dogs the longer it takes to get those dogs under control Again, your reality is different than my reality. It's easy for you to sit behind your computer and tell people how to do it, but we are all yet to see you get out there and actually show us how it's done. And I'm not talking about the little puppies and l gentle soft dogs that you choose to work with. I'm talking about the types of dogs, the breeds, the temperaments, dogs that have huge biting problems we want to see you help them because those are the, the exact dogs you commented on so there's no excuse if you cannot help them and someone else is doing it how do you justify saying that it's wrong to help them but not show them an alternative way that actually works how can you explain that that's not killing dogs when you're saying that and giving them no alternative. You have so many qualified trainers trying to help you see the truth after you called them out on your platform just because you disagree with their methods. But you refuse to open your mind to methods that are actually effective to save dogs' lives. We all work with dogs every day that we never see on your channel i will say this there is a place in this industry for all of us 
but what there isn't a place for is for you to attack those saving lives. Zach, stay in your lane, training the puppies, and let me handle these dogs that you can't and have the day you deserve.